hey I heard something pretty interesting today and I don't know that it's true but it came from a good enough source that it's got me a little I don't know if I want to say concerned but there might be something to it and yeah it sounds like this company right here don't pick on me about my crooked s I put them on there Komatsu, these, these are our two Komatsus here, is getting very aggressive in buying forestry equipment. So they allegedly bought Quadco, I guess I was just told that, I didn't know that. But I've been told other things today. I've been told that Komatsu might have already purchased Circo, which is built here in Minnesota up on, in two harbors, just north of Duluth. I don't like the idea of that. I like Circo just the way they are. If anybody out there knows if there's any truth in the Circo up there in Two Harbors being bought out by Komatsu, I'd appreciate them letting me know. The other, the other big news that I heard out of Komatsu were the timber industry or forestry equipment industry is that Komatsu is looking at buying out Tiger Cat. That absolutely floors me. I We don't have any Tiger Cat, but I, I thought that they were a very strong independent company that would never, were too big to be bought out. You know, it'd be like Ford buying Chevy. Why would you do it? I don't, I like competition between the different equipment manufacturers. They force each other to get better. So I'm, I'm a little concerned about this. If anybody out there has heard this, can you comment? Or maybe I should try to do a little research tonight. I don't like it. Um, so yeah, I, I probably shouldn't even be saying anything about it. But here I am. <laughs> I guess I, I also heard that Caterpillar canned a bunch of their executives because they're not profitable enough or at all in their forestry end and they have a very limited time to get their act together so that's also very interesting i don't know anything about that either but the source i'm being told this from is reliable enough that it's worth asking about so if anybody knows anything out there let me know a couple weeks ago i talked about these bent forwarder stakes so I asked Jeff feed fire up to 300 we're gonna use our what we call our I guess a mobile bang board it's a big chunk of steel a couple flat plates with a pipe welded between for straightening loads I told him to try it a little harder. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> well, they're, they're made to swivel around like this. So I'll just swivel it back by hand here. I don't think it's working at all. I asked him to hit a little bit higher. Those things are tougher than they look. You see it shaking all forwarder. Try something different. Use the bucket to. I think he's backwards from what he needs to do. I'm not sure if this is a good idea or not. <laughs> 
can't say we didn't try. I don't know if it's doing anything. Now he's trying to straighten the other stake. That's a pretty good example of how they swing around. Hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day.